NASA's New Horizons mission, Pluto and Beyond. On July 14, 2015, New Horizons became the first probe to get to the former planet Pluto when it reached its closest point on its flyby of the dwarf planet. Thanks to New Horizons, we were able to get our first ever images of Pluto's surface. To our surprise, we learned that Pluto has a heart, as in a huge, bright, heart-shaped surface region, as New Horizons sent us stunning images not only of Pluto, but also its moon, Charon. New Horizons is now traveling at 57,936 kilometers per hour and has been traveling at this speed since it flew by Jupiter in February of 2007, where it gave us brilliant images of Jupiter and its moons while receiving some gravitational assist or slingshot help from the mighty planet, accelerating New Horizons to its current velocity. Prior to reaching Jupiter, New Horizons had been traveling at a considerably slower speed since its launch on January 19, 2006. It is now one of only five human-made objects to achieve a velocity fast enough to escape the sun's gravity. On a distinguished list, which includes Voyagers 1 and 2, Realizing New Horizons could be redirected again after flying by Pluto, NASA astronomers, after an incredibly challenging search, discovered a small object in deep space, much smaller and well beyond Pluto, moving through the Kuiper belt. They were able to miraculously calculate its path, size, and distance, then were able to redirect New Horizons to fly by it. New Horizons did so, making Ultima Thule, which is only 31 kilometers long, the furthest object to have ever been flown by. So where is New Horizons now? Somewhere way out there, speeding through dark, cold, empty space, on its way to our next surprise. It's estimated to leave our solar system around 2040 at which time it will have been traveling for 34 years, making it the third human object behind Voyagers 1 and 2 to travel beyond our heliosphere, beyond our solar system, and on to the next star. Lightspeedesl.com